Hello and welcome to the Korean Beauty Show podcast. I'm your host, Lauren Lee, K-beauty expert, founder of Style Story, and your go-to for what's trending and happening in the world of Korean skincare. Uh, I can hardly believe it, but this is our final episode for 2022. Uh, If you've been listening since the beginning of the year, then congratulations, welcome. We have finally made it to the end of the year together. If you are a little bit newer to the show, then I hope Hope that you will stick around and join me in 2023 because we are going to have a lot more new stuff, new products, new trends to talk about. Uh, it just, you know, the trends never stop. The the newness never stops, particularly when it comes to Korean skincare. There's always new innovations, new technology, new research, new categories of product. Uh, I'm even shocked at the the sheer amount of new categories of products that just keep coming out all the time. Just when you think you've seen everything and, you know, there, there's not so many more new things that could be done, uh, there's a new invention and all of a sudden everyone is doing something else. So that is very much the way of the world, uh, particularly when it comes to Korean skincare. Uh, But if you have recently joined the show, welcome to the family. Uh, This is the place to be if you are looking for tips and tricks to perfect your own skincare routine. A little bit of a mixture of news, cultural stuff, what's going on live on the ground in Korea, but this will be our last episode for the year. I mentioned a few weeks ago that I am taking a break uh, at the end of the year. This is the time of the year when I traditionally do just take a take a couple of weeks off, try and step away from the business a little bit uh, and enjoy just time with my family. So we have a really exciting Christmas planned for this year. My family is all getting together in Canada and we are going to spend it. We're literally coming from all different corners of the world. Uh, My brother is coming from South America. My mum and dad and my sister are coming over from Australia. My family is flying over from Korea uh, and we're all meeting in Canada. We're going to have a white Christmas there. So I'm really looking forward to that. In the new year, I will be heading to New York. I'm going to go and check out the Jellico collection in store at CO Bigelow in New York City uh, and see our products on the shelf there for the very first time. Uh, someone was lovely enough to send me some photos. They popped into the store and sent me through some shots of our products on the shelf so I could see what they look like. But I am super keen to go and check them out myself. So I will be doing that in January. So taking a, a, just a couple of weeks off from our regular scheduled shows, But I figure at this time of the year, you guys are probably going to be taking some sort of a break uh, as well. You know, Christmas, New Year is certainly the period of time when most people in Australia tend to head on their summer holidays. And then even I know in the US and Canada, people generally have a couple of days off over the Christmas or New, New Year period to spend with friends and family and things like that. So I wish you a very lovely end of the year wherever you are spending it, whether you are having a white Christmas like me, fingers crossed, (laughs) or whether you are having a nice warm Christmas in Australia, maybe New Zealand, Singapore, wherever you're listening from. I'm hoping that you will have a really nice end of the year with your loved ones, friends and family, doing something a little bit special, hopefully to make this a nice time of the year. Uh, But what I wanted to do for today's episode was run through the top 10 products that have been the most popular K-beauty products in 2022. Now, these are obviously specifically to us in Australia, Style Story, but I thought it might be good to just share these with you because there will definitely be some similarities to what is trending in your country. And if it's not the same, it might be just an interesting point of difference to see what's trending in different places in different parts of the world. So I wanted to run through that list, share them with you, and I'll posit some reasons why I think the products are trending as well. So I'm going to do a countdown from number 10. And number 10 actually ended up being a tie on our website. 
And the two products that were tied were Subi's Bare Skin Balm, which is a cleansing balm, a first cleanser, and the Dialba Pierre de Mont First Spray Serum. So they were both tied at 10, at the top 10 for the 10th spot. Uh, equal amount of sales for both products in 2022. The Dialba Pierre de Mont First Spray Serum is has been a trending product on our website for years now. It was a Best of K-Beauty Awards winner multiple times. Uh, and and it's the product that for a lot of people really changes their mind about the mist category in general. Uh, constant commentary that I hear about this product is I never got the point of mists until I use this product. I always just used to think that it was spraying water on my face and it wasn't until I tried this product that I was like, oh, okay, that's what they're actually supposed to do. Uh, And this product is not just trending in Australia. This product is very, very popular in Korea. Uh, It is sold, I think last time I checked, it was something like 15 million units or something crazy like that. It is really, really popular. Uh, It first gained popularity because people used to refer to it as the Sungmuon mist, uh, which is the stewardess's spray, the stewardess's mist, uh, because a lot of the Korean air stewardesses used to use it in flight on long haul flights to prevent their skin from drying out. That is how it got super popular. Uh, and it started trending pretty much as soon as we launched it in Australia, just because it was such an innovative product in the category, in that it has the oil in the uh, mist as well. And you sort of shake it up. It was very different from what other people were doing. A lot of other companies were just doing like some sort of a thermal water, uh, which, you know, for some people really, really useful, particularly if you've had like a procedure like a laser or something like that and you can't use anything on your skin. But a lot of other people were just like, I don't really see the point. It doesn't seem to really do anything. And that product, I think, really revolutionized the category. It is a beautiful product. I myself love it. It's a favorite among all of our team uh, in Korea. It's not uncommon to see it on the streets of Seoul. Uh, I've had makeup artists that I've gone to use it before. Uh, A very, very cult favorite beloved product. So I'm not surprised at all that that was in the top 10. Uh, It's always been very popular. The other one, Subi's Bare Skin Balm, is a cleansing balm. And cleansing balms in general are trending all over the world, I think, Um, just because, again, a kind of different way to do a product, you know, rather than the typical cleansing oil. And some people absolutely love their oils, but for people that love a good cleansing balm, they're looking for a product that definitely removes all of their makeup and they don't want it to make their eyes cloudy or feel uncomfortable while they're using it. And they want something that's not going to irritate their skin as well. And that is the consistent feedback we get with this particular product is that it is uh, really hydrating. It leaves their skin feeling soft, never stripped, and that it takes everything off their skin. It's kind of in the name, bare skin balm. It removes all of your makeup before bed. Uh, So those two products we're rounding off the top 10 of the most popular K-beauty products in 2022. Now, number nine uh, was the Tosa Wong Pure Mask Collection. So we've got a couple of different varieties up on the website. We've got aloe, we've got snail, we've got green tea, uh, and I'm going to forget what the other one is, but suffice to say these masks, they are sheet masks, again, have always been very, very popular products. And that's just because they do exactly what you would expect a sheet mask to do. They have a really comfortable mask sheet that is easy to wear, easy to use. The essence in them, I think most of them contain a lot of essence. You generally tend to get more than one use out of them. So you can apply, you know, the next day or the next morning. Uh, And they do what they say on the tin. They do what you would expect them to do. After using them, your skin feels really nice. uh, And that's the consistent feedback that we get for for those products as well. It's just that they're tried and tested. You always know what you're going to get with Tosawong products. They're high quality and they don't cost a fortune. They don't cost the earth. So they were the number nine best selling, most popular K-beauty product on our website in 2022. The number eight product is a new entrant. 
uh, and that is Kahi's Wrinkle Bounce Multi Stick. Now, this is the pink stick that you probably have seen if you are a K-drama fan. It was the one that Kim Go-un was waving around in uh, The King, the drama called The King, uh, and it's been in a whole lot of other K-dramas since then. In fact, this company is so famous for doing product placement, what we call PPL in Korea, that it's kind of become a little bit of a running joke how much PPL they do. And they have taken out billboard spaces around Seoul, basically poking fun at themselves about how much PPL they do. Uh, so I love a brand that has a good sense of humor and Kahi definitely does. That has been one of their major strategies and it has worked. They absolutely have made bank off this strategy of having their products placed in dramas. And this product also, I believe, has sold over 12 million units since it launched. The other reason that Kahi's multi-stick became so popular, I think, was timing-wise. It was very fortuitous that they launched this product at the same time as the coronavirus really took off in Korea. And that was a time when people were looking for untacked skincare, this contactless type of product like a mist or a spray serum that you could apply without touching your hands on your face. Uh, And so this kind of just was the perfect product at the perfect time. If people were using masks, they could quickly just pull down their mask, whip the stick out, put a few layers on and put their mask back on and they didn't need to sanitize their hands or wash their hands or do anything and, you know, still say, stay COVID safe. So I think that is one of the main reasons also that the product really took off. It was the right time. They did a lot of marketing for the product uh, and it's a good product. Like none of that would have worked as well if the product wasn't good. Uh, and a whole lot of companies have now launched their own versions of this kind of multi balm stick. Uh, We've also got another product up on our website called the Charm Zone Vita Brightening Stick. And this one is one with 30% vitamin C in it. So it's like a brightening version, similar kind of thing that you can whip out and use on your skin. It gives you an instant glow. It's nice and hydrating and it also has vitamin C in it. So it's kind of like the product that has launched a thousand replicas. Uh, But in terms of... uh, you know, satisfaction with the product. People really seem to enjoy it. We've had great feedback from the people that have tried it. I myself think it's really good. People often ask me, they're like, is it just a gimmick? Like, do you think it has a place in your skincare routine? And I will always say, yes, I actually do really like this product. I think it's a good product. I think it's handy. How much you use it and whether you prefer a mist or a stick probably will come down to how much makeup you like to wear. So on the days that I'm wearing makeup, without a doubt, I prefer a a spray serum or a mist serum. I just find that that's easier to work with. Uh, The sticks can tend to move your makeup around a little bit, not necessarily, but a little bit, depending on where you're putting it on. So for me, I prefer to use the multi-stick on the days that I'm not wearing makeup. That's kind of how I use it. I also love using it as an eye cream as well. I think it does a really good job of brightening up your under eye area and giving you a little bit of extra hydration and glow under there. So that is my own personal thoughts on it. It's a product that I really enjoy. And that was the number eight on the list of most popular K-beauty products in 2022. Now, number seven, this is not a shock to me at all because this product sells like a wildfire, like hotcakes, uh, and that is Dr. Jart's Sikapair Color Correcting Cream. I believe in the States you guys call it the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Cream. It's the same product, just slightly altered for the different markets. So this product is so popular that it literally went out of stock in Korea and no one could get their hands on it for a couple of months of the year. So the fact that it's still at number seven says a lot about how many of these products were sold during the year because I don't even think it was on our website for like two or three months because it was completely out of stock. So it is safe to say we sold a whole bunch of these. A lot of people like this product. This is a CC cream. 
It is a color correcting cream. It's in the same category as a BB cream, but this one is more targeted to people that have redness or red spots on their skin. So the only negative feedback that I have seen about this product is I think from people that didn't really understand what the product was aiming to do. Uh, And, you know, people trying to use it maybe in a slightly different way than what it was intended to be used. So the best way to use it would be for people that have redness, leftover from blemishes, any kind of color correcting that needs to be done. Red and green are the opposites on the color wheel. So green is the perfect color to counteract redness. Uh, And that is why, you know, when it comes to concealers, a lot of them are a beige color, but that is not the best color to use to color camouflage your red spots because green is the color that you want to neutralize red uh, and the beige ones work better for other things. So I think that this is a really interesting product. Uh, It is very, very popular on TikTok and things like that. And there have been other companies that have released dupes. This one goes on green and then turns beige. So it's got that kind of... um, I guess, technology in the formula as well that blends it in a little bit better. It's also got a sunscreen built into it, although I would not ever recommend relying on the sunscreen in your makeup products just because you don't tend to apply the right amount to get the specified level of sun protection. Uh, In general, you just need to apply way too much uh, and it's more than most people would apply. But I think if you are the kind of person that suffers a lot of post-inflammatory erythema or hyperpigmentation, particularly after you've had a bad breakout, then this is the kind of cream that I think you will really enjoy using. The number six product on the list of the most popular K-beauty products in 2022 was Laneige's Slip Sleeping Mask. Uh, This product is so popular. I just see it raved about everywhere. People just seem to really, really like it. I mean, sure, I do see some negative feedback on it from time to time, people saying it wasn't, you know, hydrating enough for their lips or whatever. But on the, for the most part, the overwhelming majority of people that try this product really, really love it. Uh, And this has just been a bestseller pretty much since Laneige first launched it. Uh, We sell a whole lot of these on our website. And I know it's also really, really popular on Woolies, on woolworths.com.au. They've got it as well. Very, very popular product. Uh, So I'm sure by this stage, I think most of our listeners probably will have tried this product. Uh, There are obviously lots and lots of different lip sleeves masks on the market with different scents and textures and feels and things like that. So it's all about just finding the right one for you. But this one was the number six on our list this year. Number five on the list was Misha's M Perfect Cover BB Cream. Another absolutely cult favorite uh, Korean beauty product. And I think one that really gave a lot of people their first taste about uh, into what, what a K-Beauty BB cream was all about. Uh, Skin79 is the other brand that comes to mind uh, that, you know, really was a lot of people's gateway or entry into the world of Korean BB creams. But the Misha one is just a staple for so many people. It is so lightweight. It feels like you're not wearing anything at all. And compared to many other brands on the market, Misha actually does have a more decent shade range. I'm not going to say it's a great shade range. It's certainly nothing like the Fenty range. But for Korean skincare, this one has a lot more options than your typical companies, uh, most of which will only have two. Like, I know how wild that sounds, but here in Korea, the two standard shades are shade 21 and 23, and you will really struggle to find things on the shelf that are outside of that. Uh, If you're lucky, you might find a 13, which is even lighter, but trying to get higher in uh, or darker in shade, you can start running into problems. Uh, So that one has always been a bestseller. It was the number five product on the list this year. That's really not that surprising to me. Uh, I've, I've been a fan of this product for many years myself as well. So on to the number four product. And this one is 
was surprising to me just because it has not even been out that long. We only released it um, sort of partway through the year. It was Jellico's Dewy Glaze Toner. So this one has just been very popular since it first launched. We've sold out of it twice this year already. We sold out once uh, about a month after it first launched and then we sold out again at the Black Friday sale. Uh, And this one is a combination of an essence and a toner in a single product. So it's basically designed to be the first thing that you put on your skin after you've cleansed it. And it's just designed to really nourish and hydrate your skin from the first step. You can use it if you're doing the seven skins method. It is a lot easier to work with than really watery style toners because it has a gel texture that melts when it touches the skin. So you can use it pretty easily with or without a cotton pad if you're the type of person that likes to avoid cotton pads on it. Uh, And the feedback that we've had for this so far has been really good. People really like the the way it feels on the skin. They like it, the look that it gives to the skin. Uh, So that was a new entrant into the list this year because obviously it only just launched this year, Uh, but that was number four, Dewy Glaze Toner. Number three, On the list, we are down to the top three. I wonder if anyone will be able to guess what these ones are. Maybe, maybe not. But the number three this year was Jelly Co.'s Cherry Blossom Sleeping Mask. And I must say, this product this year has really jumped in popularity. I think this product was not as popular when it first launched, but its word of mouth is my guess as to why more and more people are trying and buying this product. Uh, It's very different to anything else on the market, and that is because the texture is very unique. It looks like it would be thick on the skin or that it would be sticky, but when you apply it on the skin, the way it sinks in is really quite surprising considering how jelly textured it is. And this really is the classic kind of product that you put on the night before and when you wake up, your skin is visibly softer, visibly more hydrated, bouncier, dewy. These are all the kind of words that people tell us when I'm reading the reviews and what people think of the product. They're the kind of things that keep coming through. This product, I think is up 20 or 30% year on year in terms of sales. So I think more and more people are coming back and buying it and they're telling a friend about it as well. That is my guess as to why this is the number three product. Uh, But this one is, uh, yeah, a new entrant into the top three, that's for sure. I'm super glad to see it there. Uh, And now we are on to the final two. Okay, so number two on the list was Subi Perfect Pimple Patch, which means that it was dethroned this year because it was the top seller last year. It's been the number one selling product on our site for a long time. And unfortunately, it's lost its it's lost its throne, but still sort of up there. So I'm, I'm sure no hard feelings to the winner. Uh, but Perfect Pimple Patch is the best selling pimple patch on our website by far. Uh, and I think the reason for that is because unlike many of the other patches on the market, It is ultra thin. It is very sticky, so it stays in place uh, and it does the job. That's the consistent feedback we have is that it actually works. People that have been unimpressed by other pimple patches, people that found that the, the other patches didn't do anything when they try this one, they're like, okay, I can finally see why people talk about pimple patches because this one does what it it says on the tin. Uh, And being how thin it is, it's also not very visible on the face. I know at the moment a lot of those kind of products are really trending, pimple patches that are in like shapes and different colours and stuff like that. Uh, And, you know, I guess that's cool if you want to go around with those kind of things on your face. Me personally, I need to look a little bit uh, more professional if I'm going to a meeting or something like that. I can't really have a big star or a Hello Kitty or something on my face. So I tend to go for the ones that don't look as obvious. That's just a personal preference. So some people are like, yep, I've got a pimple and I don't care who sees it. Uh, and power to you if that's you, go for gold. Uh, but me personally, and I think a lot of other people are just kind of like, oh, let's just treat it. Let's just get rid of it and let's just get on with it. And, you know, I don't need to advertise it to the whole world. Like, yes, I have a pimple. It's no big deal. Let's just move on with the whole thing. So that was the number two. Sorry to say you've lost your top spot this year, but still a pretty good result for uh, a bestseller, a longstanding bestselling product. 
Number one, uh, can I have a drum roll, please? I'm not sure how many of you will be able to guess, but the most popular K-Beauty product for 2022 on our site was... Jellico's Bubble Tea Steam Cream. Um, What can I even say? This product has just, it has been the biggest shock, I think, of all the products, how beloved this product has been pretty much from the beginning and how many people say it has just transformed their skin, that they really love it, and that they were shocked by it. I think that's the big thing is that a lot of people, maybe because of the packaging, maybe because of the name, they were kind of like, I didn't really expect anything from it. And then they try it and they're like, okay, wow, I, I see what I see what the hype is about. You know, the effect that it leaves on your skin, how moisturizing it is. This is particularly a product that is really beloved by people that either feel like their moisturizer doesn't ever really sink into their face or doesn't do what it says it's going to do. You know, they they start drying out a few hours after they've just used moisturizer or they apply it and it feels like it's sitting like a film on the top of their skin. This product is not like that. It really sinks in and it just hydrates with even the smallest amount of cream. It's definitely a better fit for people with dull, dehydrated, dry, uh, even combination skin, Less so for oily skin unless you're using it maybe at night in drier weather uh, just because of how hydrating, it, how hydrating it is because it has the oil in the cream. Uh, but this product, I am I'm really happy that people really love it. Uh, I It was one of my favorite products from the first time I ever tried it. I remember when we finally had the final product in our hand, everyone in our team was just like, we want a vat of this on tap in the office. This is the best moisturizer we've ever tried. Uh, but, you know, it's hard to tell sometimes. Like I've tried literally tens of thousands of K-Beauty products, but that's not to say that the products I like are the same products that everyone else likes. So we really did just sort of take a leap of faith. We put it out onto the market. It was our very first product and we had no idea what to expect. We were just like, we'll just put it out there and just see. And you fingers crossed and you hope for the best. And this one, for whatever reason, maybe it was luck, maybe it was, I don't know, but it has always been a bestseller for us. Uh, But this is the first year that it made it to the top of the list as the most popular product. Uh, So I am very, very grateful. Thank you to everyone that has tried it. Thank you to everyone that has given our feedback uh, on the product as well. Really, really appreciate you letting us know your thoughts. Uh, And of course, all of these products to everyone that has purchased them, 1%, we have committed to donating 1% of the profit from the sale of our products to 1% for the planet, uh, which is our commitment that we have made this year to do more, uh, to do what we can for the environment. Uh, That is something that we are really passionate about doing our part for. And so we made that commitment this year, which is, uh, you know, a big commitment for a small business. Uh, But we are committed to doing what we can uh, in the place that we are at, Uh, as well as looking into other ways that we can improve the environment as well. But everyone that purchased any products on our website this year, thank you. Uh, Your contribution will also be made to the 1% for the planet as well. Uh, I hope that you found this list a little bit interesting. There were some products on there that for sure you guys will have tried, probably products on there that you love, and there might be products on there that you have never tried uh, have never heard of, uh, have thought maybe I should try it, but, you know, haven't got around to it yet. It's a little bit different ones. So I will run from number one back to 10. The first one was Jellico's Bubble Tea Steam Cream, followed by Subi Perfect Pimple Patch. Then we had Jellico Cherry Blossom Sleeping Mask at the number three spot, Dewy Glaze Toner at number four, Misha M Perfect Cover BB Cream at number five, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask at number six, Dr. Jart's Sikapair Color Correcting Cream at seven, Kahi's Wrinkle Bounce Multi Stick at number eight, Tosung's Pure masks at nine and then a tie at the 10th spot for Subi Bear Skin Balm and Dialba Piedmont First Spray Serum. Uh, So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, I would love a rating and a review. 
And this concludes all of our episodes for 2022. Thank you for joining me this year. I've had a lot of fun getting to know some of you, talking to you, chatting to you over email and online. Uh, And I can't wait to come back in the new year with heaps more contents for you. Lots more K-Beauty news, uh, updates, product releases, all of the good stuff. Uh, And until we chat next time or until you hear my voice next time i'm wishing you a very safe and happy holiday season and i will see you in 2023